Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com. In matrices and determinants, let us discuss about application of matrices to the solution of linear equation, that is Martin rule. Here, consider two simultaneous equations in two variables. Consider the simultaneous equations in two variables a 1x plus b 1 y equal equal c 1 and a 2x b2y equal c2. Now we can write this equation in terms of uh, matrices multiplication form like uh, here a1 b1 a2 b2 into xy equal matrix c1 c2. or uh, in general ax equal b which is in where a is in 2 into 2 matrices and x and b are 2 into 1 matrices here for similarly in 3 into 3 order matrices consider three equations a1x plus b1y plus c1 z equal d1 a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 z equal d2 and a3 x plus b3 y plus c3 z equal d3 have three simultaneous equation and three variables now we will write in uh, matrix multiplication form like uh, here write the coefficients a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 and x1 y1 z1 here x y z only not x1 y1 x y z they call matrices matrix d1 d2 d3 here we can write in terms of uh, a x equal b where the matrix a is 3 into 3 order and x is 3 into 1 order and b also 3 into 1 order from among these conditions from here we can write x equal a inverse b that means we solve the equation by using a inverse into b here also x we can write as a inverse b is the solution of the given equations now the system of equation we can check the consistency consistency consistent consistency check here the procedure write just uh, system of equation like uh, in terms of ax equal b we are doing some algorithm here first find determinant of a then from the determinant result we will have two cases if determinant a is not equal to 0 then it have unique 
the system have unique solution and consistent that is x equal a inverse b here the second case if determinant value is equal to zero therefore we can say there is no solution no solution or infinitely many solution the system have no solution or raise infinitely many solutions now this have another two conditions if you had to find edge a adjoint a into b if it is not equal to zero then we can say no solution as well inconsistent here if g a l2 b is equal to 0 then it have infinitely infinitely many solutions as well consistent as well consistent so we have done